The agronomic analysis tool in SMS Advance provides insight into the efficiency of fertilizer and seed inputs compared to the resulting yield. This tutorial will walk through the tools and settings needed to create an agronomic analysis operation. To begin, verify that the fertilizing and planting data that you would like to utilize for the analysis is available in the management tree. For as applied fertilizer products, we will want to ensure the nutrient mix of the product is defined and accurate. We can check this by going to Tools, Management Item Editor, then searching for the product. Click Edit, then click the Product Mix tab. Mixes can be defined by either percentage or formula based. In this example, the key nutrients in DAP are defined. Nutrients can further be edited or added. For percentage based mixes, always ensure the total percent equals 100%. If as applied data is not available, then either fertilizing prescriptions or crop plans may be referenced. If using either a prescription or crop plan, a target date must be applied. After verifying the data, go to the analysis wizard in the main toolbar, then agronomic analysis. Next, you will choose if you would like to run the analysis for a single field or multiple fields. Now select the year of harvest data that you would like to analyze. This selection will be year and crop specific. For example, if you were running this analysis on multiple fields, you would only be able to run the analysis for the 2021 corn data. If you would like to analyze the 2021 soybean data, you would have to run the analysis again. After making your selection, click Next. Confirm your selection and click Next again. It is recommended to use the Auto Set Grid and Interpolation settings, though they can be adjusted if desired. Click Next. Here you will define what data you want to include in the analysis. First, you will enter the number of days between planting and harvest. The default will be set to 240 days, but can be adjusted. The data that falls within this range will determine the seed efficiency. Next, you will select what nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium applications you would like to include in the analysis. For each element, you can choose to include or exclude by checking the Include Efficiency checkbox. Next, select what operation will be referenced, either as applied, prescription, or crop plan. After selecting the reference operation, then enter the number of days back that the analysis should search for the selected reference operation. For prescription or crop plan datasets, the target date must be set within that range. The default is set to 400 days, meaning that anything applied 400 days before the harvest date will be included in the applied total. So if you harvested in November 2021 and part of the fertilizer was applied in October of 2020, it would be included in the analysis. Next, if some fertilizer isn't recorded as a mapped layer, such as custom applications, you can enter the flat rate applied to the entire field. Lastly, you can adjust how much of the total amount of fertilizer applied was utilized by the crop. For example, after applying urea, there was a dry period, meaning that some of the total amount of N was lost and wasn't utilized by the crop. So really only 90% of N was available to the crop. Lastly, you have the option to include financial analysis that will create break-even cost attributes. For this to be used, you must have a financial analysis layer saved in the management tree for the field we are running the analysis on. After confirming the settings for each fertilizer application, select Finish. The data will then be processed and generate a preview of the field, or the first field if running on multiple fields. Select Save at the bottom and choose where you would like to save the analysis in the management tree. It is recommended to save it under the same year as the grain harvest data analyzed and select the crop type as the product name. You will find the agronomic analysis operation in your management tree under the year selected. When you create a map of the agronomic analysis, you will find several efficiency factor attributes. 
It will also generate the total fertility found in all the data sets, provide the yield data, and include the financial analysis attributes. For the definitions and uses of each of these attributes, please reference the knowledge base link found in the video description below. Now, you will be able to successfully create an agronomic analysis operation in SMS Advanced. If you would like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our channel.